Hello everyone, welcome to a new Dr. Vast video where we're playing Infer uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and the deck we're playing is Infer Nobles. So Infer Nobles is honestly again a, a top 10 deck in Master Duel. We got you saying this. Basically we're going to hit 10. <laughs> and this deck's gimmick is essentially a Link deck. Even though they have tuners and they can Synchro Summon, we only run 4 Synchros and you almost will never see Baron, see Baron de Floor. Baron de Floor is like a sloppy second strategy. Our primary strategy is a link summon, link climb into whatever we can, call it a day. So yeah, let's hop into the deck profile. So we have one copy of Infer Noble Knight Renaud. In fact, all the Infer Nobles are pretty much a one of because not only are they easily searchable, they are, they are easily summonable and there's not really the issue to get to them most of the time, as you will see. And uh, then we have one copy of Inferno when I Astolfo. Astolfo can summon itself from the hand and um, it's a level modulator. That's about it. Fire Flint La Lady is a free special summon if you control a warrior monster. And then we have Inferno Noble Knight Ricardi, which um, we can banish it from the graveyard. It's supposed to summon any level four lower fire worm, monster has a tuner. Then when this card is summoned, we can special summon one um, Infer Noble monster, one Fire Warrior monster from the from the grave onto the field. And we have Triple Cubby's Max C because it's Max C. And then copy of Neo Space and Aqua Dolphin because this is a fire, this is a warrior link deck, and Aqua Dolphin is a staple in all of these decks because it can hit hand traps. Three copies of Ash Blossom, three copies of Neo Space Connector, Neo Space Connector. That's a summon Aqua Dolphin, and it's a free soul day on for our normal summon, which we don't really care about in normal summon much. But this actually fits the dice very well. One copy of Night O here is just honestly here because it has a good on summon effect and can equip itself to a monster on summon if foolish is any noble arms or fire warrior monster. One copy of Infernoble Noble Knight Olivia. Oliver. <laughs> For Noble Knight Oliver's effect, um, on when this card sends the graveyard, or we can send one fire monster or one equip monster from our field, supposed to this card is level one monster, and it's also a tuner. So this is the tuner equip, and in the graveyard can equip himself to a monster. One copy of Inferno Noble Knight Magus. So Magus, when it's sent to the graveyard, we can um, shuffle back three Fire Warrior Noble Arms cards that are banished or earn the graveyard to draw a card. He, he is our recursion. He's what, our, what we want to see most of the time. One copy of Diabalistar Black Witch. So this card can send any card from our hand to search out Sinful Spoils, which, um, and not Sinful Spoils, sorry. Sinful Spoils searches for her, who searches for original Sinful Spoils, Snake, snake Eye. It will summon one level one fire monster from our deck, which is going to be Renaud or Flint Lady or there, there's a lot of options. And then one copy of Living Fossil. Living Fossil is our equip card, which lets us bring back these most this card is a good equip because with um a soul day we can either summon a, we typically want to summon a level four with the soul day. We need to have five equips. And this is just one of the best equips. One copy of Durandal. So Durandal's effect um, let's just add one fire monster from our deck to our hand. So we can search out any card, and this is a two of because we actually kind of want it at the same time we need one in our deck at all times. One copy of Inferno the Nice All Mace, which essentially replaces itself for Durandal if we want it to. Um, and starts with the graveyard, target one of those bands from your graveyard out to your hand. That's a pretty cool effect. Angelica's Angelic Ring. Um, so Angelic Ring can only be equipped to a monster that's already equipped, then our opponent's first spell card is negated. And we rock triple copy of Noble Arms Museum, which is not once per turn on any of it, like a hard once per turn. So if we activate multiple copies of this, we can burn like over half our life points. We get three special summons, which is pretty much a game ender. And we rock double copies of Called By and Cross Out mostly for this little insect right here. And three copies of Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils, which will spawn a free summon Diabella Star. We have 
want a copy of Fern Mobile Knight Roland because it's a free summon with Angelica. Angelica is spent on spell summon. We can add essentially Noble's Art Museum. What's this other? Color? Yeah, she's just here to add the field spell Noble Arms Museum. That's it. One copy of Noble Knight Emperor Charles. Charles, he has a bunch of a, he can equip during the end phase and can destroy a card on the field when a card is equipped once per turn. We don't really care about his effect because he's mostly here for those link one that can be summoned using one level one, uh, level nine and four noble knight Charles is equipped with an equip card, which means uh, Roland or any of our monsters or any of our equip spells is a free copy of this. And once per turn, they're gonna get a spell or trap card and it copies the effects of regular Charles. If we have more than one copy of them, we can negate multiple cards per turn. Uh, then we have Soul Day, Tale of Two Noble Knights, who's mostly here because she's an enabler. This entire deck revolves around her. Um, she can search and add gear free to our hand. We can search and add Neo Space Connector. It's an amazing card. I feel like I skipped like two rows over here. I didn't go over gear free. So gear freed um, is a monster negate and it has one of the easiest summoning conditions of all time in this deck where um, we can banish an equip spell and he's just special summon himself for free. One copy of Reinforcing the Army, Triple Heritage of the Chalice, because we can search out whatever we need for the for Noble Knight side. Triple, tri triple, triple Tactics Talent. And um, Original Sinful Spells. Back to the extra deck, one copy of Nightmare Phoenix, which is just a free link summon. The fire is very prominent. Hilta, the fire charmer. One copy of Fer Ferocious Flame Swordsman. We'll see here to get rid of Promethean Princess. One copy of Nightmare Unicorn. One copy of Apolloso, Goddess of the Bow. And last but not least, Access Go Talker, because we pretty much are just a link deck. That's the entire deck profile. Let's hop to some games. So the thing about Infer Nobles is that this deck was originally played by my of course, we have Aqua Dolph in our hand. Let's just go neg 12 on our turn. The bad one too. Um, is that it? Don't tell me this is it. Don't tell me that this is it. What's up with my opponents today? Let's pay our 1200. Search out Durandal. Activate his effect. You can negate me. It, it literally doesn't matter. Let's do Durandal. As tempting as that may sound. Might have misplayed it a little bit, but that's okay because we solved the problem by adding this guy to our hand. I could go into you, but not right now. We're going to go with the bread and butter play. You. Like if you knew that you're playing against a warrior deck, why in the world would you negate this and not um let's go for four? Add gear free to our hand. I don't want to add gear free because we can read really special summon them. But let's let's not worry about it. Let's just go for four. Alright. Send you. Going for Promethean Princess. We're eating up so much time because I should have practiced this deck beforehand. Start going through our plays. Wait, no, did I just let the tuner? Oh my god, I do this every time. It's all good. It's all good. Everything's fine. We, we can recover. Let's 
We heard a fetch and a last copy of the field switch our hand. We have to target her. Equips in my god dang deck, do I? Oh my goodness. We have to do this. Use her effect to send the guy to grave. Bro, the recovery is crazy. He's a tuner, by the way. Remember that. Do not mess up on that part. He is a tuner, I repeat. Oh, still foe. As you deserve it. Pretty convenient. Where is this goddamn tuner? Because this tuner keeps throwing me off every time. Let's change you to a four. Switch to summon. Summon ourselves a Charles. You to our hand. Activate you. Destroy him. We don't have enough for game. Actually, I think we we do. Matter to me. I really need to recycle any of my spell it, my monsters right now so you can stay. And now this is super game. It's like that, simple and clean. Let me not open with equips. Thank you. See so what my opponent does to this. Yeah. So Neo Space Connector. Who wants you in my grave? Check out that hand over there, sir. Uh, let's get rid of you. Uh, 
Okay, I don't really care. Got gear free to our hand. Give me her effect. Work home. You back, bring you back. Like this. Time left on our timer. Oh, Maxi. Target her, get her out of here. You away, you banish. Emperor Charles the Great! So some time left here, boys. There's one warrior left in my deck, Fire Flint Lady. Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Next up, let's activate your effect. If you're onto him. One minute left. Cars negated. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this.
We can make it work. Yeah. You're lost in the fire warriors. Okay, I'm just by battle. Thanks for the 700. What what next? What now? Star, use her to this, like this one. I do want one equipped back. Aqua Dolphin, pop the back row. Knew it. Can you re-add Nib to your hand? 
crazy. We have Durandal. So as you see, this deck is is pretty cracked. Um, you can just play through so many things, even with uh, me getting impermed, nibbed, all these things, I was still able to put up a crazy board and my opponent really couldn't even do anything about it. So please like, comment, subscribe for some more unique decks. The next one we're gonna do is Unchained. So please subscribe for more. You guys have a great day, goodbye.